Understanding your home's electrical panel box is a necessary first step towards properly sizing your home standby generator and transfer switch. Electricity provided by the utility company will be passed through a meter on or near your home and then routed to your home's electrical panel. The panel will contain one large main circuit breaker that will feed electricity to the other circuit breakers in your panel box. All electrical panels look different. Your main breaker may look like this, or this, or this. The size of the main breaker can range from 50 to 400 amps, but most homes are either 100 or 200 amps. If you open the access door on your panel box, the main breaker should be located at the top, middle, or bottom of your panel. The amperage rating will be printed on the circuit breaker. You'll need this information to select an appropriate transfer switch for your home. Transfer switches come in two varieties, whole house and select circuit. For whole house transfer switches, the transfer switch amperage rating should match the size of the main breaker in your home's electrical panel. When the utility power goes out, the standby generator automatically turns on and provides power to the transfer switch, which then provides power to the home's entire electrical panel box. This allows for a less expensive, smaller, and more efficient standby generator to be used for whole house power. For select circuit transfer switches, the transfer switch amperage does not need to match the size of the main circuit breaker in your home's electrical panel. During installation, the essential circuits that you want to power during an outage are removed from the home's panel box and placed into the transfer switch. So when the utility power goes out, the standby generator automatically starts and provides power to only the circuits in the transfer switch. The circuit breakers that are still in the home's panel box remain without power during the utility power outage. For more information, visit championpowerequipment.com.